Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 2014 Lincoln MKT with a 3.7 liter. The complaint on this vehicle is the check engine light remains on on the dash while the engine is running. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to confirm the customer's complaint. After confirming the customer's complaint, we're going to connect a scan tool to the vehicle to see what kind of trouble codes we have in the engine computer. So now let's go in the vehicle and confirm the customer's complaint. So as you can see, the engine is running and the check engine light remains on on the dash. So customer's complaint confirmed. So now I'm gonna turn off the engine. I'm gonna turn the key on. I'm gonna get the scan tool connected to the vehicle after I get the scan tool connected, I'll bring you guys back up. Alright, I got the scan tool connected to the vehicle. Let's see what we got. We're gonna scan the engine computer. So the scan tool has identified the vehicle. Everything looks good. We're gonna click OK. So let's do a code scan and scan all the control units on the vehicle. The scan tool is done scanning all the control units on the vehicle. We have one trouble code in the engine computer. Our trouble code is P0161-00 and it says O2 sensor, here a circuit, bank 2 sensor 2. And the same code is also set in the transmission control unit, P0161. Okay, so let's scroll down and see what else we have. We got no codes on these control units, so that's good. We have two codes in the steering column control module. And we have the same code here on the generic side of the tool, P0161. O2 sensor, here a circuit, bank 2 sensor 2. Okay, so this code is what's causing the check engine light to remain on on the dash. So this code is a very simple code. This code is usually set by either an open in the hearer circuit or a defective hearer inside the sensor. So in that case, if the hearer inside the sensor is open, we have to replace the sensor. Okay, now let's click on this diagnose button and see if we have a TSB about this trouble code. And I'm pretty sure this is just gonna need an O2 sensor. So right there, no, no TSBs about this code, so that's good. And what had fixed this code was replacing the O2 sensor, okay? So this can be caused by either a bad O2 sensor or it says connected O2 sensor connector. So either a bad O2 sensor connector or an O2 sensor itself. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the hood. I am going to go to the oxygen sensor and we're going to test the hearer and the wiring of the hearer. Actually, we're going to test the wiring of the hearer first. I'm going to disconnect the O2 sensor. We're going to use a test light and connect the test light to the hearer wires. We're going to turn on the hearer with the scan tool to see if the test light is going to come on. If the test light comes on when we turn on the sensor here with a scan tool, that will tell me that the sensor wiring is good. Then at that point, we're going to go ahead and replace the sensor. Let's go under the hood and do that. Bank one is the cylinder head against the firewall and bank two is the bank in front of the vehicle. So we're going to have to raise the vehicle so we can get access to the second O2 sensor on bank two. So I'm gonna raise up the vehicle and then I'll bring you guys back up. So here is our second O2 sensor on bank two. So this sensor over here is sensor two. Okay, the sensor after the catalytic converter and the electrical connector of the sensor is right over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a test light and back probe these two white wires the wires that have the same color are the hero wires. So I'm gonna back probe these two wires and then we're gonna use our 
scan tool to turn on the heater. If our test light lights, that will tell me that the wiring of the heater is good. And at that point, we're gonna go ahead and replace the sensor, okay? I'm pretty sure this just needs a sensor, but let's test the wiring first before we replace the sensor. I'm gonna get a test light connected to these two wires off camera, and then I'll bring you guys back up. All right, guys, I got this test light connected to the O2 sensor hero wiring. So now I'm gonna turn on the hero with my scan tool. If the hero wiring is good, this test light should light. So watch that light. So right there, hero on, test light comes on. I'm gonna turn off the hero. Right there, test light goes off. I'm gonna do it once again. Right there, test light comes on. Off, so this tells me that the wiring of the hero is good. So the problem is in the sensor. We're gonna have to replace this sensor, okay? So we're good, we are done with our testing. I can remove my test light. Okay, so we have to replace the sensor. After we replace the sensor, the trouble code will no longer be set in the engine computer. Hopefully I can do this one-handed. So what I did was I pierced the sensor hero wires on the sensor side because we're gonna replace the sensor anyways, so that's what I thought. I thought the sensor was the problem, so I was right. I'm gonna get this disconnected and then we're gonna remove the sensor. All right, guys, I got the sensor disconnected. So now I'm gonna insert the O2 sensor socket over the sensor so we can remove it. So right there, we have undone the O2 sensor. So here comes our O2 sensor. I'm gonna remove it completely. I already did get a new O2 sensor. I'm gonna show it to you just in a minute here. So here comes our O2 sensor. So here it is. So this is the new one. Here is the part number of the new O2 sensor. I'm gonna get it out of the box. So here is our new sensor. So now we're gonna install our new O2 sensor. Just like that, we're gonna insert the sensor socket so we can tighten it. All right, so I have tightened the sensor. We're gonna remove the wrench, I mean the ratchet. Let's remove our ratchet out of the way. So after that, the last step is reconnecting the electrical connector to the wiring harness. I can't do this one-handed, so I'm gonna have to do this with two hands. After I get the sensor connected, I'll bring you guys back up, and then I'm gonna lower the vehicle so we can erase the trouble code. All right guys, I reconnected the O2 sensor electrical connector to the harness up there, so we're good to go. The sensor is tightened, it's connected, so that's good. So now I'm gonna lower the vehicle so we can erase the trouble code. And after that, we're gonna start the engine to see if the trouble code is gonna come back. If it doesn't come back, we're gonna wrap up this video. We are back in the vehicle, I'm gonna turn the key on so we can erase the trouble codes. So I'm gonna bring up the scan tool. 
let's back out of this functional test we're gonna read the code once again so I haven't erased the codes yet so our sensor hero code should be right there okay so our code is present I'm gonna back out we're gonna clear the codes So codes cleared. Let's read the codes again. Let's go to pending codes. Right there, no codes present. All right, I have erased the trouble codes. So now I'm gonna start the engine. Our check engine light should be off now with the engine running. Okay, so no check engine light. So I'm going to drive around the shop. Let's drive around and see if the check engine light is gonna come back. I'm sure it won't. Let's drive around to verify the repair and after that we're gonna wrap up this video. So let's go for a quick test drive. All right guys, we are driving. The vehicle drives well. The check engine light is off. So we're good to go. This is fixed. I knew the check engine light wasn't gonna come back on but I just wanted to test drive and double check the repair before we deliver the vehicle to the customer so this is good this is fixed the problem was a bad o2 sensor so the hearer in the o2 sensor was open okay so i'm gonna drive back to the shop once i get to the shop i'll bring you guys back up so we can wrap up this video I'm back at the shop. I am going to turn off the engine. So this is fixed, guys. Actually, let me turn the key back on. Let's do a last code scan since we just got back from our test drive. Let's do a quick scan and see what happens. Let's back out. So let's do another code scan. I erased all the trouble codes. Let's do a code scan. Let's do a post scan. Okay. So right there, as you can see, no codes in the engine computer, no codes in the transmission control unit. So this is good. We're good to go. All right, guys, as you can see, we no longer have any codes in the engine computer so this is fixed all right so now let's wrap up this video all right guys i'm gonna leave this right over here this is fixed what was causing the check engine light to remain on on the dash was an open heater inside the o2 sensor we checked the o2 sensor wiring the wiring is good we replaced the sensor and now all is well so i hope you liked the video if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.